Dear Pastor Bob, I got married 11 years ago. The marriage was extremely volatile. The fighting between us was really bad. I fasted. I prayed. Nothing seemed to work. Unfortunately, we divorced. During and after the divorce, everything I could imagine going wrong has. Life has constantly thrown hard situations my way, except for I've been blessed with good jobs. And everywhere during the process of all of this happening, I seem to have lost my way. Every time I try to get back up, every time I try to pray, read the Bible, go to church, it seems like an infinite weight sits upon me. I'm struggling to break free of this lack of relationship with God, but I don't feel the strength to endure through the obstacles. You know, one of the biggest problems with organized religion is the way that it um, defines our relationship with God many times. We, when we keep preaching about sin, 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 and, uh, and the, the guy has an altar call every week, and, you know, we kind of go through this process, we feel like we don't measure up. We feel like it's a, it's a chore to get to God. We feel like he's mad at us all the time, and nothing could be further from the truth. And this is what happens when that mindset prevails. You know what the truth is? Jesus died on the cross for you. He took your burdens. He took your sin. He took your frustrations. He took your failures. And he died with them. And if you feel like it's a burden, it's a weight to try to get back to him, then you haven't been doing it right. Because you see, the weight is not him. It's religion. The weight is the world. He says, come to me, all of you who are weary and overburdened, and I will give you rest. He says, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. You see what the difference is? So when we feel like we just don't have the energy, we don't have the, we can't muster up what it takes to come back to God, it just isn't true. Because you see, it isn't about weight. It isn't about what I can do. It's about what he's done. And he doesn't say, okay, you have to act a certain way. You have to pray a certain way. You, you have to live a certain way to have a relationship with me. He says, all of you who are weary and overburdened, come to me and I will give you rest. All of you. So what about sin then? Well, sin separates us from God. That's why Jesus died and why he removed sin from the equation. So you see, when I come to God, I come with a clean slate. I come knowing that he is greater than I am. I know that whatever I fail in, he's my strength to help me get up the next time. And no matter what I've gone through, a failed marriage, a any kind of failed relationship, you know, whatever it is, moral failure, whatever. He says, I died for that. I'm not judging you at all. Come on. The weight that we feel when we try to come back to God, like we're talking about here, isn't from him. It's from you. And it's based on misunderstanding. You simply come back. Paul said you were running a good race. Who cut in on you? And he doesn't say, well, just sit here for a while and think about what you've done. <laughs> you know, just ponder life for a while or, or you know, you're going to have to climb to come back to God. He doesn't say that. He says, just get back in the race. Just get back in the race. And that race that we're on, the, you know, the, the path is straight. It's not, you know, not hilly. It's not a, a problem. There are no obstacles in the path. They're all on the side of the path. Satan loves to lie to us and, 
That's all done on the side, not in the path. And he says that nothing is stopping you. Nothing is slowing you down. Just, just run. Don't let all of that affect you because, you see, God's on the path. God is on the path. He's the one that's giving you strength to run. And he's, there are no obstacles. His obstacles are not in front of you. He doesn't have any. All the obstacles that were placed there, sin, have been removed. That's why Paul says, you know, nobody cut in on you. It, you're, you're stopped in the race because of your own thinking, not because of him. Just get back in and run. So that's what I'd like to tell you today. Just get back in and run. God has you. He has your back. He's walking beside you. He's running beside you. And he's the one that will make your life different. Get rid of all those preconceived ideas about him. Get rid of the weight that isn't him. It's only religion. It's only all of that. And realize that he died for you. Your sins are removed. He has your best future at heart. And you'll find refuge in him. God bless you. Have a great day. Oh.